Okay, on the back of the Olympus E420 here, uh, in program mode here, uh, we can adjust the exposure compensation. Nice, big, bright, clear indication of it that we have there. And as I was saying before, you can actually adjust that in auto mode on this camera, which is pretty cool. Another cool thing about the Olympus, in program mode, you can actually set it to, set the ISO to auto, which gets something else off your mind as well, which is, which is very handy. Going to aperture priority mode here, uh, the A on the mode dial there, uh, we have the aperture or f-stop indication here in yellow, we change that by operating the command dial here and um, when you press the shutter button a little bit it'll show you the shutter speed that it's setting for you as well. It's pretty dim here in the studio so there we go, we've got like an eighth of a second which is, which is pretty slow. And um, now I'm just going to change it to shutter priority mode. Same dial again, the command dial, will change the shutter speed now. And we're looking at the higher shutter speeds here, like 1 500th of a second, which is a very short time, which you probably see outside in bright sun. Go right down into the seconds. There we go, into the seconds. And it's showing you the aperture that it's setting for you indicated here and the side there in white okay okay I'm, I'm really liking the Olympus it's um, quite easy to figure out this is I've only played been playing with this for a few seconds actually and I got it all figured out already manual mode M on the mode dial here of course now um, command dial only will change the shutter speed for you and you can change the aperture by pressing the exposure compensation button and the command dial. That will change the aperture for you in manual mode. Now in manual mode you have a meter indication here. Now if you get that into the middle there, that's what the camera thinks is a correct exposure. Okay. Let's have a look at the menus on this camera, the Olympus. Okay. Very easy to navigate, just using these four-way switches here. In the shooting menus, the first one. Now this is our quality modes here. Down to white balance. Set to auto there. Uh, sunlight. Open shade. Cloudy or light bulb, fluoro, etc. And you should be able to preset it yourself. Once you get to that, I would say it's a good idea to read your manual on how to do that. Okay, go navigate to the side there, to the second shooting manual. We have your metering mode. I think Olympus calls this the multi-pattern one ESP, leave it on that for now. Centre weighted, like you'd get in all the old cameras of the 70s and 80s. Spot, which measures from a very, very small part of the picture area. I'll put it back on the multi-pattern, which is called ESP. Okay, back in the first shooting menu, we find the ISO on this thing. There we go, ISO, it's on auto at the moment. Just, uh, yeah. We'd use ISO 1600 if it's really dark, like um, inside with, under the light bulb. 800, like uh, if it's inside, probably near some bright windows. 400 outside in open shade. 200 and 100 where it's really bright, like on a sunny day. Okay, put it back on auto there. Okay. Nice and simple. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at the quality um, settings on the Olympus. That's the little symbol they use for their quality. But with the Olympus, they've put image size and image quality in together. Um, the LMS is large, medium, small image size. The large would be the full 10 megapixels. I'm not sure what their medium and small setting is. Small is probably around 2.5 megapixels. Now, and uh, F 
N is fine or normal quality. The fine quality is um, less compression on the JPEG and normal quality will give you a smaller file size but you may notice a slight reduction in quality in the form of artifact, artifacts in the photo. And raw, well we're not going to look at raw in this series anyway so I'm just going to leave it on large fine there. Okay. Just quickly some of these other settings here. Um, natural and um, the what do they call it on this thing? Gradation, which is contrast, things like that. Just leave them on normal for now. If they're not on normal, I suggest have a look in the manual, find out how to do a reset, and uh, that'll get everything back to normal for you. You might have to change a few things back to how you want them though, like change your quality back to large, fine, 